What's going on guys? Skater Ghost 2010, part of the Lost Bears off team. And today we're going to do a review on the Crossman Pulse R76, or AKS 74U Airsoft Gun. Uh, this gun has a metal magazine, a metal handguard, metal trigger, metal trigger guard, metal rails. It's almost entirely metal except for this big clear piece of plastic. But that is really strong. It's really thick plastic. It's not the cheap kind. Um, the gun has a folding stock. As you can see right now, it's folded. When you unfold it, you're good for nice, decent sized ranges. The hop up adjustment is in there. Move forward for more hop up, backwards for less hop up. Uh, this is not an ambidextrous gun, except for the trigger release which is like most AKs. Once again, we're running 0.2 gram BBs in here. Probably the best to run for all of it. You have to tilt the magazine in. This is a banana mag, so it does take up more. 350 round mag. That little clip right there goes in. Then you tilt it in, click it, get the mag out, press that, and just tilt it back out. Uh, it does chamber a few rounds of BBs. This rail is removable. You can unscrew it from inside of here. This is where the battery goes. It is a pretty good sized battery and will give you a nice long charge and a decently high rate of fire. The FPS rate on this gun is around 375. You can adjust your sight, make it higher. That's the lowest it can possibly go because there's a gap right there. And right around centered right there. I like to keep it like that so you can have them perfectly lined up. There's nothing to adjust this sight. Um, this is actually my main gun right now. I have a different one that has a full stock on it like this. Uh, this isn't there. You can unscrew the stock by pressing this button down, twisting it, and then pulling it off. And since I'm running a paintball mask, this is very comfortable because you can sight the weapon properly without having to totally tilt your head like this which is a big annoyance for most guns or you can just fold the stock in instead of looking down like that uh, to fold the stock you press this button in after a little bit of aging the button doesn't work quite as well and then you just pull that back unfold it flip this down it stays pretty still it's a little bit shaky so is the mag but the mag you don't want to be in have in too tight because it will screw up so this is a really good gun and I'd have to give it an average rating for an EG at 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and we'll have more and better reviews to come. Peace.